Good morning. Good morning. And today we're here at Blizzard Beach. Blizzard Beach. It's another water park day. Yes. Um, we've got the GoPro. I'm not sure if we're going to film much with it, but but, but we've got it. Yeah. Like we did at Typhoon Lagoon, we're going to have a walk around first and just show you the park. So obviously we don't take this camera with us when we're in the yeah. water. So we'll have a little walk. And we'll show you what there is. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, uh, here we are. You guys know that I love a lazy river. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the laziest river on Disney property. So we're going to be going in that first, after I walk around. Water parks are definitely small parks, aren't they? Like... The Disney ones are. Yeah, the Disney water parks are very small. I didn't think Volcano was that small. Volcano Bay was that small. No, Volcano Bay was... It was quite big. I'm busy. Yeah. Um, but this one's not bad. It's not too busy today. I think this is quite a small park. Like I was looking at it because I couldn't remember what rides were here. And there's not that many. We've also just hit a barrier. This is the only way that we can go. So, quite frankly, I'm, I'm not equipped just yet to go in the, in the water. Are you wearing a bathing suit? Yes. No, I'm not wearing a bathing suit, child. I've got to turn around and go back this way. Also back there was some like private little beach that I think you can pay for, is it? I'm guessing it says reservation required. Yeah, anyway you need a reservation, I'm sure you can find out how to do that on their website. So this is the way that we headed towards some of the rides. They have got very good rides here. Are you going to go on them? Some of them, I prefer the rides at Typhoon Lagoon, I think that's why we, we go to Typhoon Lagoon Marks, I think we both prefer them. I mean, this way there's two mat slides and neither of us are bothered about mat slides. But they're still fun. I never remember this many helicopters flying over Disney. Oh, I do. Why is there so many helicopters? There's helicopter flights from International Drive and I know there's a few helicopter rides that go over Disney and I think there's a weather helicopter that comes out quite regularly as well. Huh. I hope you weren't drowned out by this magnificent soundtrack. I mean, we've not had the Christmas music yet, that's the best. <laughs> also look you've, you've got private little cabanas that you can rent and I imagine that they're quite expensive but still a neat way to spend your time why do they call it a lazy river when they do that that's not relaxing If there's one type of hut that you really don't need in Florida, it's a warming hut. Because it's damn hot already. Here's the main pool. Now, it's not nearly as big as Typhoon Lagoon or Volcano Bay. But, it is still very fun. Especially when you're in a little inflatable tube and you can just sort of float around, bob up and down on the waves. It's a lot of fun. So we'll do that later. Here's downhill double dipper. I don't remember doing this last time. I don't think we did. But look! Yeah! Um, what, why all the cowbell? Although, saying that... Why? One of Lauren's biggest complaints with water parks uh, is how hot the floor gets in the sun. I know they tell you to wear shoes, but we've only got flip flops and I'm not holding them on rides. They need to be more sprinkling. But there's not too many sprinklers yeah. There's not too many sprinklers around here, but there is a lot of shade. So hopefully we'll have no burnt toes today. And here is runoff rapids it is very twisty and windy and it brings you out down here yes oh oh no this one's really fun we went on this a lot of times last year last year in 2015 i knew when i meant my only problem with this ride is you've got to carry your tubes all the way up to the top like there's no no elevator system to take the tubes up. You've got to pick them up and carry them all the way to the top. 
Look how quiet this little beach is around the back of the park. I mean, there's about 20,000 chairs, but, but no people. And like I say, this is around the back of the park, it's really quiet. So, if you're looking for somewhere to come and sit just out of the way, and just to enjoy some music and the sound of whatever bugs they are in the tree, making that really annoying noise, this is the beach for you. Again, here's another dead beach. Granted, it's not completely in the sun, but still, it's somewhere just to sit and just put your stuff. I'd recommend it. It's right round the back of the park. Come find it. I wish I could find some tubes for the Lazy River. Can't find any though, at all. There's a definite tube shortage today. So we're carrying on down the Lazy River and there's a cave! A cave! Goose! Light, dark, light, dark, L light, dark. Look at this ride. It's a big family raft ride. You've got to have at least four people, but look at that. Theming. That man's been filming. Who does that? By the way, this ride's called Team Boat Springs. Soon, Lazy River. Soon. Here's a little kids area where all adults have to be accompanied by a child, which seems like a fair rule. And then, up here, is the pièce de résistance. Summit, plummet. It's a great ride. Like. You, you sit at the top, and then you fly down, and it's like nearly vertical. Which it's, is why I don't ride. Yeah, Lauren doesn't ride it, she goes on the baby one. Hang on, you can see it from here. Yeah, if you look, hang on, where's my finger? There. That's the one I go on, so that's Slush Gusher. Lauren goes on the absolute child one. <laughs> no, it is one of the only water slides, I think, in Disney that achieves airtime. And but she's so proud that she went on it. I just can't do that one. It's brilliant. Anyway, let's go get changed. I want to go get in the water. So we had about five hours swimming around, going on rides and stuff. Um, to be honest, we spent most of the time in the Lazy River. Yes. But the Lazy River is like the best part. So um, anyway, what we're doing now is we're going to go on to... Epcot. Epcot. We don't know how easy it is to get from here, but, <laughs> but we'll figure it. <laughs> we, we need to catch a bus. Yeah. We're, we're having about four hours at Epcot, and then going on to Boardwalk to watch Epcot's fireworks. Yes. So, come on, we need to go find a bus. So we found a bus, but it turns out that you can't go directly from Blizzard Beach to Epcot. You've got to go to Animal Kingdom, then to Epcot. So. You know, it's a pain, but what can you do? Let's get on the bus. Okay, so we're now at Disney's Animal Kingdom, but we're not stopping, we are park hopping. We've got to walk all the way around this path to go to the Epcot bus. We're following these people, we assume it's this way. So we want stand 15 for Epcot, which is that way. We did it, and now, we're in the queue. Yes, it's here. We made it after like 40 minutes of traveling from like Blizzard Beach, which is just over there somewhere. But still we're here, so. First things first, we're gonna go look in mouse gear. And Lauren, all of her wisdom. <laughs> no left her hair down. I've got bobbles, but my hair was wet when we got on the bus. But, but now I'm melting. But now she's burning to death. 
Okay, my bad. We're going on Spaceship Earth first. Because it was like a five minute wait, and you can't argue with that. But then, then we'll go into Mouse Gear, okay? Deal. Just for fun, I chose Japanese as the language for this ride, instead of English. Also, I've tied my hair up. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you afterwards. Then we're going to Mouse Gear and then Club Cool, okay? Then maybe World Showcase. Maybe. I have no idea what's going on, like, at all. Welcome to the future! There's me. Yeah, what happened to your head? What? <laughs> What's going on? This, this Japanese thing really doesn't help. What is Oh my goodness. I look stylish. Yes. <laughs> oh, my eyes are not on the road. So we're in mouse gear and Lauren's ended up trading some pins. Look at this one. You can't really see it, but it's good. Um, we also came in, or I did anyway, to see if we could find the Splash Mountain Funko Pops. Not any of them. That'll explain why I can't find it. We're heading out to World Showcase now because we want to go to Mexico so Lauren can have some food because she's wasting away. And then we're going to go on the Three Caballeros ride. But and then every time we get we're not having like too long in World Showcase today because yeah. so we did it the other day and we're coming back food and wine on Friday where we're mainly going to be in World Showcase again. So I think we're just going to do a couple of pavilions and then come back and do some rides. So as usual these vlogs have got too long so I'm going to cut it there. Make sure that you tune in next time to see us take a walk around World Showcase. Uh, we're going soaring, we've never been on that before. Uh, we go watch Illuminations from Boardwalk, which was like a really good experience. So yeah, watch watch the next vlog, okay? And with that being said, I'm gonna get gone, and I'll see you guys next time.